Hi, it's Pample Says Princess. Um, um, in my last video, well, not my last one, but um, my combo and unfinished project video, I was uh making. I told you my butterfly wings because I said I was gonna make a butterfly, and so I finished it last night. And um, somebody asked me to show it to them when I got done, and so this is what I'm doing. Um. It's okay. I like it, but then I wish some parts of it I wish I hadn't did. And I'm going to try to probably do another one eventually. I don't know when. But, um, yeah. Here it is, though. Yeah. It is um, glow-in-the-dark with uh, blue and purple for the wings. Dark purple and dark blue for the wings. And the body is the blue and the purple. And then the antennas are glow-in-the-dark. I like it. Um, I weaved it into, and the uh, body is a uh, cobra stitch. So, uh, the person who taught me how to do but this butterfly did not do their body cobra stitch. They did it tornado, and I didn't like the body, but I like the wings because the body I just thought was too fat for a butterfly. No offense because I did like her butterfly, but I just thought it was too fat for a butterfly, so I did it with cobra. And it's a little a little bit of cobra with a uh, king, co well, with a king cobra um, head on it or whatever. Or super cover head on it, whatever you want to call it, but um, yeah, and so, but I don't like the way I connected it on the back right here. I, I don't like that part because this is the back of it, and then I had to like cement that the uh wings was going to stay on the body, so I tied them back here, and I don't like it. But this is the back, this is the front. I like the front, I like it. I think it looks very butterfly y, I think it's pretty. And it does act glow in the dark, you know, because it's glow in the dark string. But it's just my first attempt, and so I think it's pretty cool for that. And I'm also going to show you some of my other projects that I just did. It's about six that I haven't showed you. So, yeah. um, A candy cane that I finished, like, the other day or so. And, uh, yeah. Most, you know, you have to bend it. Most people, when they bend it, they put, um, uh, a paper clip, a straightened out paper clip in the middle of it, of the string, so you can bend it when you get done. This is how you make your letters, your S's and stuff, all that stuff. And stuff. See, I can make it an S or whatever. But uh, since it's twist, it's kind of hard to bend because I don't use paper clips because I don't like them because they don't straighten out enough for me. When I try to straighten them out, they break, so I don't use paper clips. This is what I put in the middle of mine. Um, just some, like some, what you call it? The little twisty wraps that you put on like bread and stuff, like a whole roll of it. Um, I got it for like a dollar at the dollar store, this whole big old roll. So that's what I'm going to use. And maybe when I put, do it for a circle, it won't be as hard to bend and stuff. Because the stuff is relatively easy to bend, so I don't know. But yeah, this is my candy cane. It's twist, made out of twist stitch, and it's red and white. See, it won't make the S. It just kind of bend a little bit. I think you have to like let it sit a little bit. Anyways, yeah. Um, my super brick corkscrew alternator thing. I like it. Doesn't look like a, a actual super brick, you know, because I'm doing a corkscrew. I mean, I'm doing a super brick. Then I'm going to corkscrew, super brick corkscrew, and keep going and on. On and on. You can compare it to a regular super brick. Let me hold on and show it to you. Mine. Okay. Yeah. You can compare them. You see how that one's, this one's right here is completely straight up and down. And this one's like going over to the side a little bit. I messed up just a tinksy bit at the top. So I got a little anxious. I think I did a little. Then I did two quarts on top of each other, two square on top of each other, which was a mistake and kind of messed it up a little bit. But yeah, I think it's still pretty cool though. So yeah, it is gray and light blue. Um, this was for my unfinished projects. I showed it to you. I finally finished it. It's holographic um gray. I mean holographic silver and holographic blue. And it is a zigzag stitch. I think it's really sparkly and shiny. You really can't tell it's sparkly and shiny because of the video. My video is crap, which I do not like. And you see I have my glasses on this video. I don't think I had them on my other one. But, yeah. Um, 
it is, yeah i just told you what it was but yeah i think it's pretty zigzag tornado that's what it was um i just did this recently i don't really like it now uh, the concept in my head was uh, going to be prettier than this but it's like a braided wall except for it's twist instead of a braided wall and it's super brick and then i separated into two circles and i twisted them up and then i did it back to super brick and you can unwrap it and it just looks weird like that like a weird hole in it because it's supposed to be twisted but i did it didn't end up like i thought it was gonna be it is red white and purple i kind of like it then i kind of don't i probably make uh something else that'll get my vision across better but i got this idea when i was doing my mama hair one day or whatever but yeah um and all there were all these other four are just telephone cards and I learned them from some lady on on internet. Um, I can't remember what her name is, but if you ask, if you really want to know how to do it, I will do your tutorial, or I will point you to the lady who did, the, who first did it. And um, I just have to find out, but I don't have her name like with me right now. But um, it's a simple thing. It's like doing cobra. It's even easier than doing cobra, I believe. But yeah, here it is. Um, this one is black and white. And it's just basically a wrapping effect. Like, you know, a telephone card, an old, old telephone card. Yeah, the telephone card, the little circle of ones I used to play with all the time and wrap around me and stuff. I don't know if you did, but yeah. If you're really, really young, you probably don't know what a telephone card is. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I would run and show you a telephone card, but I have no idea my mom put them. I know we still have them, but I just don't know what they are. Um, This is another one with the holographic. Um silver and blue i don't really like this one it's okay this is another little one it is red and like a green i don't know if you can really see it yeah red and like a teal red and teal and this is my very last one super long one um it is glow in the dark pink and black with white in the middle so you can see some of the white in the middle but i do like this stitch now i think it's pretty cool i probably do eventually end up doing some this is probably going to end up being my new cobra my new zipper but i think it's easy super easy and i can teach you if you want me to or i can point you to the lady who taught me but yeah anyways that's all i have to show you that's all the projects i've done since the last video i've been kind of busy getting ready to go back to school and hanging out with my friends and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it. Au revoir.